Hello, and welcome to another edition of The Mustachio Chef. Now, before we jump in, facial hair update. The mustache is growing back. The beard, full, a little grayer than last time, but it will be back before you know it. Now, for tonight's episode, we're making a very special meal. It's not something that's very common in Italian cooking, although it's called alla Genovese. We are gonna be making a short rib onion sauce. Now, we got this meal when we were on our trips to Italy at a nice little restaurant called De Gemma, probably my favorite meal that we had there. And the recipe was on the menu since like 1895 or something like that. So we're gonna recreate it, basically a cover band cook. So we've got our onions here and it looks like a lot of onions because it is. We've got the mirepoix, some pancetta, and if you come on over here, some beautiful looking short ribs. So what we're gonna do, basically, we're gonna treat this like a stew. We're gonna let the short ribs and the onions braise down until they basically come together as one, and it's this beautiful little meat, kind of stew, brown sauce. I can't wait for this one. Let's get cooking. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut up these onions and boil them. It's gonna make them a little softer. It's gonna make them uh, easy to break down when they're in the stew, kind of going with the meat. So we're gonna take the tops off and boil these onions. Okay, we've let our onions cool. Now we're gonna slice these very thinly and that's gonna get this whole thing started. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the mustachio chef always practices safety first. And when I chop onions, I start crying. So I have to take some precautions here and put on my safety goggles. All right, we have cooled our onions. We've chopped them into thin little layers. We've also cubed our short rib. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get started with the mirepoix. We're gonna hit it with some garlic. We're gonna throw in some pancetta. And then from there, we throw in the short ribs. We put the onions on top and we basically let it just simmer down. Now we're gonna braise these as well. So we're gonna use a little bit of our beef stock. We're gonna hit it with some white wine to give it that flavorful kind of juice feel while we braise it all down. And the goal is let this simmer for like two hours and you want this all to kind of come together into this kind of a sauce. You don't want it to be individual onion meat. It's gotta be kind of one. So let's see how we do here. Okay, we've got the mirepoix, the pancetta, the garlic starting to sweat. We're gonna add our short rib. We're also gonna get that braising liquid. So, we're using a white wine. Spirito d'Italia. And guys, I know I've said it a hundred times, but what's our rule when we're cooking with wine? That's right, only cook with wine that's good enough to drink. So let's give this a little taste here. That's gonna taste real nice. So let's go on over here, let's add our liquid. Now we're gonna add our beef stock to this as well. Now, it's gonna look like a lot of liquid here, but again, we're gonna braise these short ribs down. We're also gonna have the onions sweat, so it's gonna have a lot of liquid, but the idea is to have this all come together and make a beautiful sauce. Our short ribs are in. Now we're just gonna layer all of these onions on top. The idea is that we want these again to break down and you're not even gonna recognize these onions by the time it starts cooking. So we're just gonna add these all in. Let it sit for two hours. Just put the top on, two hours. Two hours later. 
Let's come on over, see how this reduced. Oh, baby. All right, you can see here, it's, it looks like a soup almost. But what we're gonna do now for the remainder of the time here, we're gonna now let this cook uncovered and reduce this all down for another about 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. And the goal here, you want it to go from this soupy texture to then breaking it all down and making it into more of a sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of the tomato paste and it's gonna be great. The smells already are just exactly what I was hoping they would be. Okay, it's been stewing for about 45 minutes or so. The consistency here is perfect because what happened is the short ribs kind of broke down and basically became one with the onions. And that's exactly what we were looking for with this sauce. So you got a little bit of that meat still in there. It's not a stew anymore. And it's really not technically a sauce. It's this beautiful Genovese thing. Now, we're gonna get our pasta going here. We're using fusilli, like in Seinfeld, the fusilli jetty. So this is what we're gonna do. Get a little starchy pasta water, and then we're eating. All right, this smells exactly the way I remembered it from the Gemma. I also wanna shout out our friends here in DC. Napoli Pasta Bar had another dish that was just like this and it was fantastic. Now, while I'm getting myself prepared here, don't forget, go to the YouTube page, subscribe, like it, tell your friends. All right, let's see here. Oh man, it looks great. I'm so glad this turned out the way it did. When I talked about the bolognese, it had a lot of depth and like serious layers of flavor. You get that here with this because like I was saying, it's, it's almost got a stew feel to it, but the tomato paste, the onions melting down, all come together with the short rib. It's just, mm, a decadent, that's the word I'm looking for, decadent dish. Oh man, it is really good. It's surprisingly, it's not sweet, but those onions give it a little bit of a sweet feel to it as well. Mm. Banging dish, a little outside the box too. Okay, I am super thrilled to eat this. When we went to the Amalfi Coast and had this dish at what I think we both agree was one of our favorite restaurants while we were there, um, out of character, I was the one who actually ordered it, and I forgot what Ryan had, but we both ended up just going to town on this dish, and it was absolutely fantastic. So I'm very thrilled that we have achieved it. We tried this dish earlier in quarantine and singed everything and ended up trying to repurpose it into poutine, which ended up being all right. But the day is finally here. We've done the Genovese. It's absolutely excellent. I mean, I think we, is, we might as well be in Italy. It's the perfect blend of the onions and the short ribs and everything has just blended all together into this wonderful stew or sauce or whatever in the world it is. I don't know what you call it, but it's absolutely amazing. I, I know we're not scoring anymore, but I give it a 10.